invited for a seminar to uh, teach video editing and animation and um, I went there to teach what I know how to do and um, I got there and to talk about to be one of the students at the seminar. Before I had gone for a training, I mean, I'd seen the, seen the name, I'd never heard a name from Ben Kassalu. I had a special award in the So I was looking forward to so asking this, this person. And the first day, he didn't show up. And I felt, you know, there was, it was no big deal. Yes. He didn't show up the first day, so I was there. Anyway, so, uh, he finally showed up. And well, he did some of the training. Okay, it was all right. I immediately noticed she was very brilliant. She was a very intelligent young woman. I noticed that um, she was she was smart, and she picked up everything I I, I I had to teach quickly. In fact, she'd already done a lot of research before that day, so she was answering all the questions. She was particularly bullied every other person in the class uh, because every question I had, I was asking, she already had answer to it. Um, so yeah, I noticed that then, uh, but um, it wasn't anything more than that at that time. Of course, I exchanged numbers with all my students at that seminar, so for them to keep in touch, if they wanted me to teach them or carry them along in projects I was doing at that time. I just remember that one day, I, I, I can't, I don't know why, but I just remember that that day and um, the thought occurred to me to just give her a call. And the, that singular call that day began the, what we have now. And we became friends, we started talking and before you knew it. Many more calls followed afterwards, she went to service. I kept in touch. We spoke a lot and I had to go several times to where she was serving. I be at that time to pay her visits and you know, meet my calls, Blackberry, things and stuff and all that and all that. Um, yeah, I mean that was really pretty much the journey so far. And how I met the little boy. The proposal. <laughs> Interesting. It was his way, it was the calm way, but for me it was unexpected. You know how they say, oh, every, every girl knows that you're going to get proposed to, so how does it surprise? But it was a total surprise for me. I mean, I, I traveled and I just got in and then he was supposed to travel and you know. First off, at the beginning of the day, we, had, we went out early in the day and we went around Lagos. We just kept driving around around. We went to see a movie, we went for breakfast, we went for lunch, we went for dinner, we saw another movie and we just kept going around. We went to the shopping, it was just going around and around. And you know, nothing, nothing even came across. It was just another beautiful day with a wonderful man. And then, all the while, I guess he was just looking for the perfect opportunity. And then we got home and then he was talking about how he really wished he could make things more more, uh, what's the word? More permanent, yes, that's the word. And uh, yeah, no, I was saying, oh no, that's no problem because we're supposed to travel. I'm like, no problem, I'm going to wait for you, it's fine. He says, no, he really wished he had a ring to propose. I'm like, no, don't propose, please, please. Because for me, it was going to be like, don't propose, please. And then, it's going to be fine. And I was going to go, because he dropped me at my house, and then I was going to go upstairs. I was going to go upstairs, and then he, he came around to the car, and he, 
like, oh my god, what are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Stop! Hmm? But he wouldn't stop. And then he brought out his ring. I was like, no, 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 This is not happening to me. <laughs> but it happened. And then he started this really long speech that it really pained me I didn't hear because I was in shock. My ears were doing... My eyes were like, uh, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh, 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 And I mean, he went on this really amazing speech. I know I heard the end oh, shot that uh, I want to spend my no, life okay, with my best friend who makes me happy all the time. No, and no, all those things. And he said, you marry me? Oh my god. I said, yes. And then I was really in shock because I wasn't expecting it. I was in shock. I was. I started wheezing. And then I was trying to run away because I stayed in an estate and I was right, trying to run down the estate and he was trying to chase me. It was just very comical. It was just very, very comical. But yeah. And then I got upset and I was like, oh my god, I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Yeah. I was in shock. I was shocked. I was happy. I was elated. Yeah. She's my friend. Anybody that knows us, I mean, if you know Benga and Topper, you know that we are, we are too playful bunch. What makes Benga Benga? He's his creative genius, his humility, his patience, his conflict resolution is amazing, his, his ability to manage people, his sense of humor, his gentleness, his calmness, his, his beauty, his, his way of loving me, his way of loving everybody, his way of being kind to everybody, his, his amazing personality. I miss Benga. Benga sorry. My husband. <laughs> I mean, I can't ask for more. I mean, I'm looking forward to growing very old with her. I'm looking forward to many, 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 many more great, lovely years with her. She's very adventurous, spontaneous. I like that a lot about her. Um, yeah, so she, Tommy Tokwa is. She's the love of my life. I love her very much. I know she loves me as well. I know she'll do a lot and everything for me, just like I would do anything for her. I love her, Timmy Tokwe. I love Timmy Tokwe very much. She is my wife. She's my love. I love you, babe. Mwah.